Hello, my name is Trinity, Zelly Music Publishing, Slam Jans Records, and today we're going to talk about side chaining and software, rhythmic gating using Nuendo. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a sin wave, we're going to use that sin wave to help this kick kind of have a little bit more life, give it a little bit more punch and a little bit more edge and some bottom. Now, to do that, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a group channel. So, we're going to go to our group and we create a channel get there you simply go to project add track and go to group channel I'm gonna say stereo group now there's our stereo group we're gonna bring our group channel to the top and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate this kick drum then we'll mute out our top kick drum and then we'll change the color of this kick drum so that we know the one we're working with great now the next thing we do is we create a tone and typically how you do that is you can go to any track that you want, you can solo it, you can pull up your channel strip settings and then scroll down in your plugins list and look for test generator. What this will do is generate a, a 50 hertz sin wave. So we'll leave it at 50 hertz for this demonstration. You can say 52, 53, doesn't matter. We'll say minus 2 dB. And that's the, the, the tone we're going to generate. Now in this scenario what you would do after this step as you would say export, you could go to file, export, and say audio mix down. And then there you would have your track. And under your audio mix down settings, you would also tell the computer to import back into the session the same thing that it's sending out. I'll get to our export menu there. And you would actually name the track what you want to name it and say import to pull an audio track. And essentially what this would do is give you the test tone generated track on a track. But I've already had the, already have this set up. So what we're gonna, we're gonna do is just grab this track over here. I already got set up. I'm gonna find us a place to stick it, and we'll just put it here. And it's gonna import itself into the session. Now I've created a pretty long um, kick tone enhancement track here, and that I was using in another session. So we're gonna let this load in, and once it's loaded. Then we'll move it up closer to our track so that we can see what we're doing. This will be a really great time to grab an extra donut. Okay, good. Now we're in. Great, we have our tone enhancement track here. And now what I'm going to do is basically just find a place to stick it. And it's there. Then I'm going to take this track, we're going to bring it up closer to our kick drum that we're going to be messing with. Now the next thing I can do is basically this track can pretty much stay where it's at and we're good. Now we're going to go to our group channel here and we're going to pull up our group channel then what we're going to do is we're going to load up a plugin it's going to be called the Waves Compressor 1 Gate, the C1 Comp Gate that's the plugin that we're going to use. We're going to change our key mode to left R. This mode right here. That's the mode that we're going to use. And what that essentially is going to do, it's going to be in side chain mode. And it's going to tell what's over on the left side of the signal is the signal that we're going to use to trigger whatever's on the right side of the signal. And that's the signal that we're going to be triggering and gating. So that's pretty much set up with the exception of a few adjustments here I'm going to move this top slider up to 30 and we'll move this one down to probably about 40 to 50 and that's good right there and we're going to close that out now we have our gate set up and our compressor set up we're going to name this group track sidechain good now we're going to close that window out then the next thing we're going to do is we're simply going to take the tone or the instrument that we want to use to trigger and we're going to route that to the sidechain track or the group track that we just made. And we're going to pan this to the left. Ah, go to the left. Okay. Now we're going to go to our enhancement track. And we're going to also route that track to the same place. Route it to our sidechain track. And we're going to route that to the right. Now we're going to go back to our group now, and we can undo this. We can unsolo it or unmute it rather. We're going to pull this up. We're going to change our panner mode. 
And we're going to go to dual panner. And that way we can actually have access to this right side of the panner and we'll place it in the center position. Now, now when we unsolo this kick drum here, we should get what we want. I'm just going to leave it solo for now so that we'll hear the, we can hear the difference. Now, let's see what we got. Yes. Now you can tell that the sin wave or the tone wave here, tone the kick tone enhancement is being triggered by this kick drum here. Now, to get the sound that we want, we just simply unmute this kick drum at the top here. And there you have it. And if you want to see your adjustments, you can pull up your compressor and there you have it. You see what's going on and you can make adjustments appropriately. And that's pretty much how you do side chaining with ryth rhythmic gating, excuse me. So that's it. That's how it's done. So I hope that was informative enough and I hope it helped you out a whole lot because as usual, it's time for me to go eat. See you later.